Your business suddenly came crashing down because of an accident or because of a fire or you lost your job that you didn't imagine you were going to lose or suddenly your bank account is closed and so much has happened. Do you know what? Allah will comfort you and grant you the reassurance and your faith and conviction in your Lord is the only thing that's going to carry you through this loss. Nothing else. Nothing else. So many people have lost so much. Every human being has lost something at some point. We've all been through that to different degrees. The only ones who have actually managed it are those who have connected themselves even more to Allah. Never let your happiness disconnect you from Allah and never let your sadness disconnect you from Allah either. Whenever you're happy, thank Allah two units of prayer. Whenever you're sad, Praise Allah, two units of prayer. Seek, seek help from Him. So that's what I'm saying. And then look into yourself. Don't think this is a punishment from Allah. That's the first thought that crosses the minds of many people. You lost someone, you lost something. Oh, it's a punishment from Allah. I promise you, if anything has ever brought you close to your maker, even by a millimeter, it was a blessing from Allah, not a punishment. A punishment is when you're driven so far away from Allah that you've just forgotten him. That's punishment. A person being punished at times, they don't even know I'm being punished. They look forward to the trip. They look forward to the journey. They don't realize they're being punished. Allah says in the Quran, when we wanted to destroy certain people, we gave them material wealth. We gave them material wealth. فَتَحْنَا فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبَوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ When they forgot us totally and they turned away from us, just before we punished them, we opened for them all the doors. When they got and got and got and got, they forgot, they turned away from Allah even more. The punishment was deserved and the punishment came down. So sometimes when you're getting a lot of things, it could be something negative. When? If you've been driven away from Allah by what you received. That's why when you get good things, it must lead you to become a better person. The best are those whom their business is doing so well. So they started off with not only charities, but they became better people. They started praying. They started treating others with utmost respect. The best of us from among those who have been blessed by Allah with the worldly things is he or she who is humble. Humble. You find a wealthy person, a very, very important person. You find an absolutely powerful individual coming and greeting you with a smile, with so much of humble humility, looking, for example, how they can help or assist maybe, you know, and so on. Then you know, subhanallah, that's a blessing from Allah. That's a blessing. You've got everything, but you're still humble. 